Hi guys, welcome back to The View. my name is Williams. So today I have two products here, might be the dream of many people. I think this video might bring out some emotion in me because both of this device is very good and using them both is very enjoyable. It's worth noting that each of them has completely different strength. So overall, I would say there won't be a machine better than the other. It just depends on what you need. And now I will go into each factor. First of all, I see both the Razer Blade and the MacBook share an extremely important similar point that they both have their own uniqueness. Both in terms of appearance and brand emotions they bring. With Razer, it's gaming vibe of a premium gaming brand. The machine has a certain level of uniqueness, even when the design is very simple. The uniqueness comes from the fact that the machine still has a very boxy square form with a minimal round corners. And the Razer logo is just awesome. Not to mention like the USB ports with a green tone. And the overly bright RGB LED keyboard. As for MacBook, Apple always knows how to stand out. Such as the notch that is unlike any other. Or the Apple logo which has been and is still the dream of many people. In terms of overall build quality, both products did really well. Creating a feeling that is luxurious because truly finding products in such a high quality on the market isn't easy. In fact, there are not many machines with thick, solid aluminum bodies like the Razer and the MacBook. So both products have almost absolute durability and the hinge opening closing sensation is equally smooth and sturdy. So in general, if you like the bonus and the uh, uniqueness, the razor blade shine in this aspect. Meanwhile, the MacBook still have something called user-friendly for most majority of user. Its rounded edge make it easier to grip, reducing the risk of denting compared to the sharp edges of the razor. Additionally, the aluminum surface of the Spay Black MacBook Pro 14 model resists the sweat and fingerprints exceptionally well. Why is quite noticeable on the razor blade? It still used a anodized aluminum finish not the type of coating like the ThinkPad, but it's clear that the Razer technology hasn't performed well in terms of the dirt resistance. In terms of the display quality, I would go for the MacBook because of the mini LED screen technology having exceptionally high brightness, which support up to 1600 nits for the HDR point and up to 1000 nits for the entire screen. It enhanced the gaming experience significantly, particularly for dark games like Dead Stranding featuring gloomy raining scene. On the MacBook, the grass and the rock appear more vivid compared to the blurry appearance on the Razer Blade. Although the Razer also offer the uh, mini LED options, uh, but it's limited in 2K IPS with a price somewhere around 2200 bucks, cannot match the display quality of the MacBook. However, Razer have the 24Hz refresh rate, making eSport gaming more enjoyable. And Razer configurations is stronger, allowing for clear graphic in most games at 2K resolutions. For instance, in Lies of P, when upscaled to 2K, Razer Blade maintained higher FPS, delivering sharper scenery compared to the slightly blur visual on the MacBook. Speaking of performance, the Razer Blade 14 used the AMD Ryzen 9 8945HS with 8 cores, 16 thread of CPUs with the RTX 4060 140 watts graphic card, 16 GB RAM and 1 TB of SSD. Meanwhile, the MacBook Pro 14 with the M3 Pro has an 11 core of CPU and 14 cores of GPU, with Apple upgrading the RAM capacity of the base model up to 18 GB this year. But it only comes with a 512 GB of SSD. Generally, Apple tend to charge high price for RAM and SSD upgrade. In terms of real-world performance, the Razer Blade 14 significantly outperformed the MacBook Pro 14 because the RTX 4060 graphic card is very powerful. So if your work involved in graphic, the MacBook Pro 14 might struggle to keep up. Especially in gaming performance, the Razer Blade 14 is powerful and can handle games two times, three times, or even four times better in some games. Overall, the performance of the Razer Blade 14 is a completely different level, making it more suitable for tasks like graphic design, 2D and 3D renderings, or gaming. However, to achieve such a performance, the Razer Blade 14 has to consume a lot of power, so it causes some issues like the high temperatures and loud fan noise. 
You can feel the heat, especially in the area above the keyboard. Meanwhile, the MacBook doesn't have much noise. But the Razer Blade 14 is quite loud. This is a common issue for the high-performance window laptops. On the other side, when doing regular tasks, the Razer Blade 14 is extremely quiet. About the speakers, the MacBook 14 Pros provide a warmer sound with a stronger bass. So when playing games or watching movie, the cinematic effects is more realistic. Listening to a sound of a distant cat or a raining sound on the game, uh, the resonance and the spatial effects on this MacBook Pro 14 is still better. About the keyboard, Razer showcased the uniqueness with individual RGB LED lighting for each key. And you can customize them using the Razer Synapse software. On the other hand, the MacBook only has a single white LED line. Typing experience, both machines are quite similar. They are both fast, responsive, and since they have the same solid aluminum frames, typing feels extremely comfortable. Just like typing on a mechanical keyboard built on the aluminum chassis. Both the touchpad are good, with the Razer having a traditional touchpad rather than the haptic touchpad like the MacBook. However, due to the excellent build quality, it doesn't suffer from any wobbliness. In terms of connectivity, the MacBook has an SD card slot, while the Razer has a Type-A port. Both have the HDMI and Thunderbolt ports. About the battery life, the MacBook Pro 14 optimized really well with 10 hours why the Razer Blade 14 only lasts somewhere around 6 hours. In conclusion, each laptop has its own strength. The Razer Blade 14 has a bold, personality feel design while maintaining elegance and simplicity. The performance allows it to versatile use, including gaming and 3D works. On the other hand, the MacBook excels in all aspects, with excellent screen quality, battery life, and overall performance. So for user, with general needs that both laptop can handle such as programming, video productions or music productions, the MacBook 14 Pro may be a better choice. However, for those in need for technical graphic works, gaming or simply require a window laptop for their work, the Razer Blade 14 would be a better fit. Additionally, the window manufacturers are advancing in the field of AI, offering potential for future advancement. The Ryzen 9 8945HS chips also comes with the integrated AI hardware, indicating potential future usage in the AI-related task. This could be something to consider in the future. Okay, so that's some of my thoughts about this two device. What do you guys think? Please comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is William, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.